what it do, my boy. It's your boy, Wavy. Stay Wavy TV. I hope y'all staying Wavy out there. Let's get it, man. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Let's get into the video, man. So I wanted to talk to y'all about Brent Fias. Um, I want to start this video off by saying I love Brent Fias's Wasteland album. I love it. It's dope. Um, it's original. It sounds different. And it just it just has this like cinematic like the skits plus the instrumentals he used it just like his music has like this cinematic vibe to it you know what i'm saying like like i could hear his music on that whole album and just his music in general i could hear it in movies you know what i'm saying um and i think he should start doing that man i think he should start making music videos that's like mini movies you know what i'm saying with his songs because um the songs plus the skits Specifically on this album, man, de they definitely could have made a movie with that, man, for sure. Especially the skit where this chick he was messing with, um, I think she was pregnant and she ended up, like, killing herself or some shit. That was wild, bro. With that being said, man, um, I was listening to Joe Budden's podcast, um, not last week, but uh, the week before, right? And I was surprised that Joe Budden didn't like this album right and he was saying that he didn't like the album because he felt like it was lazy he felt like um the songs on the album were lazy um and he he, did, he doesn't like how brent fias sings like off pitch and doesn't put auto tune on his voice and it is his his like the way he's singing is off pitch you know what i'm saying and he doesn't like how um how lazy the the songs are like he says the songs basically sound unfinished the pitch is off he feels like brent fias should put auto tune on his voice to make it sound better and he basically was just saying that his songs are sloppy and he doesn't think that it like it, it's not traditional r&b music and um he just doesn't get what's causing everybody to gravitate towards it right now i'm gonna be honest with y'all when I first heard Joe Budden say that, the first thing I thought was, this nigga's a hater, right? Because this isn't the first time I've heard Joe Budden say something about somebody's music or project, and I disagreed. I was like, man, I disagree with Joe Budden a lot, but I love his podcast. I think Joe Budden is a very enter entertaining uh, artist, and I love hearing his take on music because we ne I never really agree with him, right? But when he said that, you know, everybody except for Parks was was disagreeing with him. Ice disagreed with him. Ish disagreed with him. They said they liked um, a couple of the songs that they heard. And Joe Budden was like, yo, just go back and listen to it again and come back and tell me what you think. Because I don't want I don't want to come off like I'm just hating. Right. And today I actually went back and listened to it. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I totally understand what Joe Budden was saying. Like, when you take away certain songs, like, for example, you take away Gravity, the song with Todd, the creator, and you take away um, Waste Time With Me, the song he has with Drake, right? When you listen to all the other songs on the, on the Wasteland album, there's a lot of songs where He's, he's singing, but he's not using his vocal cords to the best of his ability. And the singing is off pitch. And the mixing of the vocals and the overall track, it sounds unfinished, right? Like it literally sounds like drafts. Like it sounds like when an artist is working on a song and he's just going in there just 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 uh just just freestyling it just sounding crazy just to get the idea across and it just sounds like it's not finished you know what i'm saying and instead of going back and finishing the record to make it sound presentable it sounds like this nigga just said you know what i'm gonna just leave it like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's crazy because like when i first heard the album i noticed it but in my mind, I was like, okay, maybe this is just his style. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of artists don't really do that. I'm like, maybe that's just his style, right? But 
after hearing Joe Budden, after hearing his take on it, I went back and listened to it again. And I said, you know what? I said, I think I might have gotten caught up in the hype to where I was actually ignoring that shit. And I was kind of like just just vibing with it. Because I will say this, bro, like Brent Fayez music, it puts you in a vibe. You know what I'm saying? To where you might not even notice that shit. But me being conscious now and going back and listening to it after hearing what Joe Budden said, I said, you know what, bro? This album, like, um, like, like I said, besides the songs like Gravity and uh, Waste Time With Me, the song he has with Drake, and I think two other songs, right? The songs, like, like, um, what's that song called off the album, bro? Um, I can't think of it, but it was the song he put out right before the album came out. These songs sound lazy, bro. And... It's to the point where I don't even think Brent Fayez should be considered an R&B artist. I think he's more of a rapper. Because if we're going to say Brent Fayez is an R&B singer, then I would have to say that Ja Rule is an R&B singer. Because Ja Rule is looked at like a rapper. But I think Ja Rule does, like, he sings. He actually, like, uses his vocals better than Brent Fayez does sometimes. Like, Ja Rule got a lot of records where he's singing, you know what I'm saying? He not just, like, harmonizing the nigga singing, like, really putting his soul into that shit. Whereas Brent Fayez is, like, it sounds like he's, like, either high or drunk, and he just going in there just, like, singing, but just not really taking it too serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you compare Brent Fayez to artists like... The Weeknd or Chris Brown or Neo or Mario or Omarion or who else? Jeremiah. He can't sing as good as those guys I just named. Not even close, right? But Brent Fayez got his own unique style. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love his artistry. Like, like, I listen. I don't want people to take this the wrong way. I still think Wasteland is a fire album. But what I'm saying is the effort level was minimal. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm trying to word this properly. Like, do I think Brent Fires is overrated? No. I think everything he's getting right now is well deserved because he's original. He's an artist. Like his his art is original. His music is original. It's different, right? But it's not traditional R and B music. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I said, like in my mind, as of right now, I don't even look at Brent Fires as an R and B artist. I look because if you really listen to his music, like. He's flowing like he's rhyming. The, he's rhyming his words. He's just singing it with no auto tune. Like I look at, like I'm telling you, like I even saw an interview. He said he started off rapping first. At first he was rapping, and then he started singing because he said singing was easier. You know what I'm saying? He said the rapping shit was too much effort. But when you really listen to his music, like the niggas rapping, bro. He's he's doing the same thing niggas like Future, Young Thug. Um, niggas like Roscoe Dad, he's doing the same thing them niggas do, bro. He's just like harmonizing, right? And I don't think it's I don't think it's R and B music. Cause we don't look at Young Thug as a as an R and B artist. We don't look at Future as an R and B artist. We don't look at Roscoe Dash as an R and B artist. We look at them niggas as rappers. So what's the difference between or Trey and Travis Scott? We look at him like a rapper. What's the difference between them niggas and Brent Fayez? He just he's just go he's just using different beats. Like I said, his style is original. That's what separates him from those. The style is original. The beat selection, the stuff he's talking about, um, the skits, it's it's all original. But to say he's an R and B artist, right? 
I would have to compare him to other R&B artists. And I can't name one R&B artist that I can compare him to as far as how the music sounds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like maybe you, like I know some people might say The Weeknd because they both got that uniqueness about them. They both got like this image with the hair and shit like that. But come on, bro. There's no way in hell you can compare the way Brent Fiaz sings to The Weeknd. Nah, my nigga, like Brent Fiaz, bro. He's not, to me, he's not... I wouldn't consider him a good singer. I wouldn't. I don't think he's a good singer. I think he's. I think Brent Fias is a good song maker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he's a good artist. He's a good song maker. Like he's a good um, song writer. But I can't say he's a good singer because I don't think he's taking the singing serious. You know what I'm saying? Now he got. Now like I said, he got some songs where the singing sounds straight. But even on those songs, it's not like on the level of those R&B artists that I just named in, the, in you know earlier. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think. Do you consider Brent Fiaz an R&B singer, or do you think he's a rapper? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy Wavy. I'm out. Let's get it.